This is KITV4 News at 6. Well, 30 years of workaround. Yeah, that pretty much sums up the state of the state's information technology. But now there's a roadmap to cut through the bureaucracy and hopefully see some results sooner rather than later. KITV4's Catherine Cruz reports. Wow. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine someone keeping a computer alive for 36 years? I mean, that's phenomenal. The state's technology czar says he was floored to find that decades-old relic in the Department of Education. The DOE, long maligned for a bloated bureaucracy, most recently came under fire because it can't track its transportation costs, manage its bus routes, and student ridership, all because of outdated systems. We keep talking about the fact that uh, many of the things that are inefficient, both in the Department of Education and throughout the state, it's not really because of the people. It's because we struggle with uh, technology that is uh, well past its time. The goal, to transform Hawaii into a digital state. We are trying to transform so many different business function services. This is a massive challenge. We also have about uh, 740 uh, uh, IT systems. So to transform business, technology, all of these function services is, is going to take time. The state's information technology systems are 30 years behind the times, and while it may take 12 years to totally overhaul it, he points to the changes in the state tax office that have already made it faster to get tax returns into taxpayers' hands. That doesn't mean that you have to wait 12 years to get results. You're going to get results starting this year, and I'm trying to get results so that every three to six months something comes up live and we can start showing incremental progress. What used to take weeks to get checks deposited into the state's coffers now takes four days. This was just one process on the, on the collection side of it, but it just proves a point. Just imagine what they could do if we give them the real technology. The information guru rolled out the blueprint for the transformation to the governor's cabinet and pulled out his smartphone to make a point. These devices are changing the world. Well, Catherine joins us from the newsroom now. And Catherine, it sounds great, but it also sounds expensive. How on earth do we pay for all of this? Well, you know, this effort uh, has seed money from the Hawaii Community Foundation and eBay founder Pierre Omidyar and from the state legislature. Uh, that has in part funded this roadmap to get Hawaii where it needs to go. But it will be a long-term investment that probably most people will agree has to happen. And, you know, we do have a link to that report on our website at KITV.com. Yanji. Thanks so much, Catherine.